Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Sag and Sun. Let's see what messages Spirit got for you today. Mm-mm. Oh, seven sword. I ain't like that. Let's see. It's fine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. Allow me to channel the energy around my Sagittarius collective, please and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. Sag. Um, somebody is take out first of all, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. But what I'm getting is someone this could be somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time, this could be a lover, a family member, or something like that. This either they're coming, either they're in your energy right now, or they're on the way. But I'm not getting it's it's like they're gonna try to do some type of um this can even be like a parent child situation, one eleven on the phone. It's gonna be some type of guilt tripping. Sag, okay. Someone could even be saying that, oh, will you treat this person better than you do me? Or Sag, this could be you saying this. I don't know, take how it resonates. But I feel like the opportunity, this situation is going to bring you the opportunity to heal because it's it's almost like a, another lesson coming around. And y'all know how these lessons, these karmic lessons, repeat themselves. It can either show up in the same same person or same type of person. Okay, so um, you about to get hit with something again, and I feel like either this person or the situation hurts you a lot. That's why it could be a parent, child. It hurts you a lot, but you deal with it. And maybe you've cut this person off for a while. There's been some distance, 212 on the phone. But I feel like they're about to come back. Let's see. For some of you, it is a it's a person who has lack mentality. Okay, um, I feel like certain things don't go right in this person's life. You may even try to tell this person something. It's like they don't want to take advice from you because maybe they think you think you know it all, and maybe it's your delivery. I don't know. Okay. But I feel like this person go out there and get themselves in trouble and then you be right there to pick up the pieces. And it always ends up dragging you down or putting you behind. And what I mean by that, say for instance, your rent is due and this person go and get yourself locked up. Instead of you paying the $800 rent, you take the $800 and go bond this person out. It's someone that's close to you because there's a sense of obligation with this person. But spirit is testing you with this person. Take the title off of this person and look at the situation for what it is, okay? I don't care who it is in your life. Take the title away from it and look at the situation. And ask yourself, why does it keep repeating itself? Why does this person keep coming back? Why do I keep allowing this to happen in my life, okay? So, that's our tower. Tower, baby. This is an important decision to make because... say it like that this person could have you this energy I don't know who this is but baby it's almost like this person know they're not going anywhere in life and they don't it's deep down I don't care what they say to you deep down they don't want you to go anywhere either and for some of you with this tower this this type of person to go out there and do some dumb shit and ask you to come pick them up from the store and they just did some bullshit, okay? Um, if this is a relationship, this is the type of person that'll put you in between talk, it's me or your kids or it's me or your mama type shit. It's like, what? Me or your job? Like, man, who is this? All right, what up, Spirit? But I feel like the tower is going to be for this person because now that you're getting this reading and you can see this situation because a lot of times... 
Um, especially with spirit telling you to remove the title from this person. If it's a, a parent, take the parent out of it and look at the situation. The tower is going to be for them. Because some of y'all don't even know. It's like a page of swords energy. This person might leave you alone for a while. And it's like as soon as Sag is getting ready to take off, this person find their way back. And it's like they need some type of help. So there's some type of codependency there. This could even be someone that you seek validation from. Um, you almost feel guilty. Like, well, I don't want to leave this person behind. It's going to be different. The relationship between you and this person is going to be different for everybody watching. But I feel like the tower is going to be for them. Because I feel like he's going to choose to do something different this time. All right. Let it go. This this person, Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, it could be someone who's young. But I feel like it's just some gaslighting energy about to come. And you see that fish that's popping up. They're gonna That fish is symbolic to this person bringing something back up. That could have happened in the past. This could be a person who tells you. This could, they have like victim mentality. Well, everybody didn't grow up with two parents. Well, everybody didn't go to college. Maybe someone who went to college. Maybe you grew up with two parents or maybe you made it out of the hood or something. This person, well, everybody ain't as lucky as you and they try to like, and you feel guilty and so you help. But then I'm telling you, it's right here, they coming. But let me tell you, whoever this is ain't got no emotions for you. Look how this person, you see how the horse won't even cross the water? Water is symbolic to emotions. It, I'm sorry, it's symbolic to emotions. The horse won't even cross it. This person standing on land, same here. That water is behind this cup, behind this person. They're standing on land. This is somebody who really don't care about you. That's why it's important for you to take the title off of this person and look at it for what it is, okay? Well, Sag, the moon. Some of y'all could be doing with a Scorpio. This is somebody who's working. Listen, all right. This could be a coworker. I don't know why I just got this. Somebody's gonna try to put drugs in someone's car. You could offer someone a ride home. And uh, they try to leave something in your car. Maybe you just bought a new car or something. You're dealing with someone who real they like I said, they don't wanna see why things are going wrong in their life. They just look at everybody else. And why do everybody else got it and I don't? It's like this person's like an Eeyore. And you know what? Your optimism irks the fuck out of whoever this is. The fact that you have the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Or you're like, oh, man, it's going to be okay. You know, trying to bring in that positive energy. That irks this person, whether they tell you that shit or not. They don't like that. This is a part, like, they don't never forget. Um, I'm just, just describing so y'all know who this is in your life, okay? They hold on to the pain for dear life and wear it as it's a badge. Well, you ain't been hurt more than me. Well, you, your daddy didn't do this to you. My daddy did this to me. Yep, I was by myself. Like, I don't, and I'm not saying that this person didn't go through what they went through. And I'm hearing again, like I heard in another reading, it's not your fault. So let's just keep going. Because with this two of ones, I feel like you're making plans and decisions in your life. And I feel like it's causing you to move towards the future. Because the two of ones, you have a choice. Okay? Some of you have gotten some type of opportunity with that pinnacle in your hand. This one would be the past. This one would be the future. This is someone who wants to keep you chained. But you see, you're free from this one. And there's an opening here. Where there was a brick wall, there's some type of opening. The opening's just big enough for you. It's not big enough for whoever this person is. So for some of you, this is a, an energy to see that you're going places that they can't go. So they're going to try to figure out a way to hold you back. It's important, for real, y'all, to literally take the title off of it and just look at it for, who, for what it is, okay? This person might say things like, oh, you just lucky like that. Because the Ace of Cups is like favor being shown over someone's life. I do see some type of opportunity coming. Whether this is you just taking life 
by the balls and just going out there and getting it or someone bringing you the opportunity. It's, it's, there's no room for this person. But spirit gonna test you because it's like, do you really want it? Do you feel like you're deserving of this opportunity? It's right here. But it's up to you to see what's, you know, been holding you back. For some of you, and I feel, I, I, okay, spirit. The fact that you can't say no. The fact that you feel obligated to help in situations that ain't got shit to do with you help, can hold you back. It's crazy how I can give advice and can't take my own fucking advice. But, um... Somebody is about to look for like a weak spot. Someone's working against you with the moon and three of pentacles. Man, man, man. But I feel like this tower is going to be for them. If you, if you resonated with this reading and, you know, do the right thing, try God. Don't put me or no other reader over your intuition. Try God. Go to the most high God about this situation because it's going to be big. This tower, this is like... Okay, let's pull these. Counsel, hell, maybe this person comes and just emotionally dump everything on you. And you're always, you know, that shit get heavy sometimes. You know, you could be having a good day, everything going good. And same time you see this person, they ain't never got no good news. It's like they save a year's worth of drama. And when they see you, they let it all out on you. Oh, girl, I can't wait to tell you. I've been going through this, da 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 da, -da. Everything is injured, and that shit is heavy. And if you're someone who is sensitive, especially with this Ace of Cups, you holding all of it. <clears throat> but let's see. Yeah, I see. I told you. You getting ready to do something. Celebrate. Three of Cups. It says you've accomplished so much, and you will accomplish much more. Take some time off. Celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. I feel like that, that's that Ace of Pentacles right there because of your choices with this Two of Wands. But baby, don't let. <laughs> yeah. All right. The way all my stuff just fell like that right there. Anything that happens in the reading is symbolic, y'all. Let me pick it up right quick. Be mindful. Be mindful because you're about to enter the most comfortable period of your life if you really want it. Give me just a second. Okay. All right. You know what I'm getting? Y'all remember the movie Creed 3? When um his foster brother got out of jail, he was trying, he was, they were both, they started together, both in foster home. Well, Creed went on, became very successful. Both of them had the dream of being boxers. Actually, the brother was the one boxing at first, and he had uh, took a charge for Creed, or he was protecting Creed, something like that. Somebody gonna come back and try to make something your fault, I'm trying to tell you now. And I feel like that, that couldn't be, maybe this person took a charge for you a long time ago. Like, hey man, I ain't gonna never, maybe they was out in the streets and you wasn't, and they knew you really had nothing to do with, you was just giving them a ride, or you was just there. They could, Take that and be like, man, I took that charge for you, but you really didn't have nothing to do with it, right? And so, say for instance, this person went did some time, and now they're getting out. They're gonna try. I'm telling you, whoever this is, it's been to try and milk your ass. And some people don't even know what they're doing. That's another thing. It's with this moon here. It's unconscious. That could be the difference between you and this person. You could live a very conscious lifestyle. This person could live a very unconscious lifestyle. Maybe this energy doesn't realize that every time they talk to you, it's always something negative. Um, or that they're even just dumping all of their problems on you. Maybe they don't even realize that, okay? But wherever you're getting ready to go or whatever's going to get ready to happen to you, this person can't come because you're not. You're like an ace of cups. They're a page or even a knight. That's not a vibrational match. Okay, we got this persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. There's a little opening right here. 
opening in your life, opening at a job, something. If this is a job, you can't take this person. You know, uh, whatever it is, child, it's for you. It's for you. Teacher, okay? You have the ability to motivate others to uncover, to strive and uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. Okay, so could be a teaching position. It may cause for you to have to move. Or if you get it, if you accept it, it may bring a little upgrade in your life. Maybe you're able to, like the cards say, uh, take some time off and celebrate something. Or maybe you're able to buy, make a big purchase, buy a car, or something like that. Y'all, caution. Caution. I'm telling you. Yeah, success will find you. I feel like this is somebody who thinks you got it easy. But it's it's the um what works for you, Sag, is the fact that you are very optimistic. You don't allow what you're currently going through to be the destination, you see. So people get stuck in what they're going through and they, and they feel like that's just it. And whatever we think is what we're gonna manifest, you know. For some of you, this person has been a tag along for a long time. They, you know, this could be a person who don't even get attention unless you're in the room. Or it, maybe when they're with you, they don't ever have to pay for something. Um, it's something like that. But I'm telling you, with the two of ones, you're gone. And I feel like you, you're making the choice. Some of you could be moving overseas. With all this water right here. Italy. Somebody could be going to Italy. <coughs> Somebody could be playing basketball, too. Overseas. Uh-huh. Because that was like a basketball in his hand. But, baby, whatever it is, you deserve it. That was fierce, eh? Probably went through hell and that. What else, spirit? Lovers. Again, lovers is about choices. This could be a lover situation. This could be a person who every time you get into a relationship, they go crazy. They act a fool. They don't ever like nobody that you date. They want you single. Uh, this, like I said, this could be a friend, family member, whoever. This could be another ex. This could be someone that you co-parent with. Take it how it's going to resonate, y'all. I am gave y'all most of the characteristics that I done picked up on to try to help y'all figure out who this is in your life. But this is really somebody you need to cut off. It really is. And there's about to be an opportunity to do that. This opportunity that's about to get offered to you is going to better you and your situation. But spirit is making it to where this person can't go. So maybe the, the choices will be take it or stay back here with these people, this person. Because it could be a group of people. Three of Pentacles could be family members who try and guilt trip you and tell you not to do something. Oh, man. Oh, you, you finna go overseas. You know what happened when people go overseas. You heard about that? What happened to that lad, girl? Child, when she got on the plane, plane didn't even take off all the way. And that thing exploded. Don't let people, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is for you, child. This is for you. For some of y'all, there's a Scorpio coming out the water. And they finna strike. The scorpion right there. Strike on your ass. I'm talking about for real. Some of you could be getting proposed to. I feel like there's a, a yeah, some type of proposal, offer, offer, some type of offer to do something, go somewhere, be somebody. If you want to be somebody. You wanna go somewhere? For some of you, it could be a mother figure. With this mature woman. So this is somebody who's salable with life. You know, they could be looking at their, like I said, y'all could have started in the same place, could have had the same opportunities. But maybe, you know, people make their own individual choices and whatever choices that you make, it's like this. You have the choice to choose whether, whether you wanna go left and right. You cannot choose the consequences that's coming from the choices that you didn't make. So this could be somebody in life who made some further choices. And maybe they didn't start getting life together until they got laid on up in age. And you could be 
Because people be jealous of folks for many different reasons. But for some of you, this is unconscious with this person. They don't even realize. Look at that. Un unexpected income. And high honor with gift. My goodness, goodness. I just said it. Married. Some of y'all could be getting proposed to. And this little energy right here from the child to hate. This could be a friend with the three of pentacles. Say y'all always go out. Um, and y'all always go to the single bars or whatever. But now you about to get proposed to. This person finna act a damn fool. You hear me? They might even try to place little doubts about your person in your ear. Oh, girl. Um, you, you sure? Because I heard them kind of be, um, you know what they say. You know what they say about them kind. What if you go out of way? What if you take that job, get down there, and it don't it don't work out? Then what you gonna do? You gonna come all the way back up here? I would just stay here while you're <laughs> Whoever this is, baby. I would you know what? I wouldn't even tell them. I would not, because this not a cups could very well be you. You could be so excited, right? With this three of three of cups energy set up between. Oh my god, y'all, I just got this offer. Or oh, I just got this new job, or oh, I just bought a home, just bought a car, whatever, whatever. I wouldn't tell them shit with the moon, keep it to yourself. They find out when they find out. If they find out, I wouldn't tell them. This card in my deck says work in silence. It says work hard in silence. I would not tell whoever the fuck this is. Cause baby. Whew. They're gonna try to end it. They're gonna try to end it. Coughing. They're gonna try to end it for you. For some of y'all, this person ended something for you. You were talking to this person about something that you wanted to do or be. Or you were talking to them about someone that you liked and they could have ended some shit in the past. That could be coming out. They could have worked against you with someone. Because everybody worked through the timeline differently. If that's the case, I feel like you're going to find out about it. But you know, it's like this. What's meant for you is meant for you. So if you missed it then, it's, it's coming back around. So yeah, this could be an aunt, a mother, a grandmama, just an old, just an old woman who feels like... Sometimes old people be, if you're younger, I, I, I never understood that, but sometimes old people be jealous of young folk uh, and vice versa, you know. It's something, it's something, I promise you. Emotions coming and going. <laughs> Look at that, single current status is available. Maybe that's what they want. They want to try to keep you. Look at that. Ten of Wands, anchored, chains, weighted down. They want to try to keep your ass single. But with this marriage, you and lovers, you really could get into a connection. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that song. Don't you say no tonight. Don't you say no tonight. Settlement. Agreement compromise. So again, I see you celebrating something. Child. It really could be a settlement that you get. Somebody gonna be uh, yeah, unexpected income. Somebody gonna be a little bit salty. And then sometimes you be helping people. They don't even want the help. They they, just, they want what you got. Or some people just don't want you to have what you got. Like it's crazy. Man. But it might shock you as to who this is. Okay, so. It came out of the end. This is like a Queen of Cups energy. This really could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or someone who's just real emotional about what the fuck you got going on. And then I feel like they try to use emotional manipulation to get to you. Like, I'm, I'm seeing some weird. For some, this is a person who uh, they might harm, self harm. I don't know. Or I don't know. Okay. But this could be hacked. This is coming up. In the future, days, weeks, months, this is getting ready to come through for some of y'all. Look at that. Love, admire, enchantment. So you, you could really be digging somebody. Somebody really could be feeling you. Mm -hmm. I listen. 
someone is threatened some a body by you or I don't know y'all toxic unhealthy people you're not on the same vibration ace of cups to the page of cups even ace of cups to the nine of cups it's two different energies it's like a 40 year old person and a 16 year old that's how different it is these people are toxic and yes it could be I said it's somebody that you gotta tie to so blood ties in a circle family friends something like that I'm not cutting these motherfuckers out. I'm not cutting them out, okay? And see, for some of y'all with the history, this person already messed up an opportunity for you. Because for some, it's, this is something's coming together. Maybe a connection, right? This is reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. A gamble, taking a risk. Yeah, some of you might just... uh. Because now that you have this reading and you see somebody's doing some shit in the background, when the opportunity comes your way, you might just you might take it and not tell nobody. Say, say for instance, you gotta move. This calls for you to move. You're not gonna sit down and, and hold a family meeting. You're gonna fucking do it. You'll call them when you get there. You'll call them once you done got settled in. When you coming over to eat? Child, I ain't even done no more, child. I've been up here in Arizona for about three weeks now. Why you wait? Oh, you low down. Like, <laughs> This person gonna be mad for triggers. They gonna be mad. But this might be how you have to handle this. Now, Sag, for some of you, this is not you. This is this person dealing with their fucking family and friends. This person could be coming to you. And motherfuckers could be hate. Like I said, people right here working together. The moon with the three of pentacles. Two of Wands in this single energy. You probably already left these folks. And somebody, because remember I said this tower is going to be for them. Because I feel like you're going to be choosing yourself possibly for the first time in a long time. Whoever this person is that always comes in and they're able to guilt trip you or, you know, manipulate you or use the kids or use whatever because it's going to be different for all of y'all. I feel like you did some shit without telling a lot. You could have already left. Because they don't want to do nothing but wait. Ten of Wands. Wait your ass down. Anchors. Chains. Wait it down. And so if this person has already left people, this family, this toxic family, and whoever the fuck this is, they could already be out on your energy. Because they could think that this person is coming towards you. Yeah, someone who was fake, pretending, living beyond their means. There is some unexpected income in the seven. Y'all remember that reading I did last summer? I said, look, y'all, this man, there was a masculine energy getting a settlement. And his whole family, all these little leeches was around him, right? Everybody had already had it in their head how they were going to spend this person's money. Maybe you need to buy a restaurant. Now, nah, maybe you need to do this. People who ain't never thought about doing shit with their life ever, all of a sudden, they got all these great ideas because this person was getting some money, right? So, <laughs> he could have, you know, he could have had a court date set for the first. And he could have told these people it was for the 10th. This person already got the damn money and they go on, they already gone. People mad about this shit. Maybe they can't get in contact with this person. Or this you. Take how it resonates. Maybe they can't get in contact with your ass. <coughs> <laughs> Listen. Hamster will survive in daily hustle. You see all that money right there? These is leeches. Whether they're energetic leeches. Whether they need you energetically. They come and dump all their emotions on you. And they walk away feeling free as a bird and you heavy as hell. Anchor, ten of wands, right? Weigh it down. Somebody ain't dealing with it. I, I really feel like now that you had this reading and you can recognize it for what it is, take the title off the person and deal with this situation. Some of y'all ain't going to deal with it. It's going to be, a, I told you I was getting it. I offer a proposal of commitment. 
some type of offer. And I, you know, I feel like you deserve it, whatever it is. And it's not room for these other people because they're not a vibrational match for you anymore. Yes, family can grow apart. Sometimes you have to love family from a distance. It's just the truth of it. Family, friends, you know. Yeah, people gonna be like, oh, you think you this and that? Because you got this and you got that? No, you think I'm that. That's you projecting on me. Projecting your own thoughts about me on me. No, I don't think nothing, child. And you know, what's so, I had certain family members when I was trying to go to college, they was like, they made a Facebook post. And you talking about that shit hurt my feelings so bad. I had moved out of state. And first semester of college. And someone that we both grew up with had asked my cousin about me. And my cousin posted on Facebook. Oh man, what the fuck with her? She thinks she better than she in college and shit. And it took years later for that friend to explain my cousin's point of view. Because I couldn't see it. I'm like, man, what's so wrong with me wanting, be wanting better? What's so wrong with that? Why I got to think that I'm better than just because I want more for me and my family? Just because I left this, you know, our town and tried something different. Why I got to be all this and that? You know. And so, like I said, years later, that friend came up. He was like, man, maybe he was just going to miss you. And didn't know how to express it. And so he put it out there like that. But I feel like it ain't what you do, it's how you do. You don't put no shit like that for the whole world to see. I don't want to fuck with her because she thinks she better than she in college now. So anyway, child, this could be somebody who became successful. And these people over here, these little leeches. They don't, you know, whatever. Better take the tide off this person. Could be something going on in court. Court paperwork could have been filed. Some legal shit. They all try to block you. I wouldn't tell this person shit. I would not tell them nothing. Yeah, because somebody wishes about to be fulfilled. This is Five of Cups energy. Finally, you get someone who pours into you the way you pour into people versus you being the, the, the energy that people always leeching off of. There ain't no balance in that. Yeah, they planning and plotting. That's the three of pentacles with the moon. Because somebody did a drastic cut off. Either you, Sag, either you decided you were done with the past shit and you were, you know, changing your life and moving forward. That could be this drastic cut off. It's this drastic, extreme, harsh cut off. And that was a choice that you made for yourself and you have the right to make that fucking choice. If you're hanging with a group of friends and things are starting to change with you and you let them know, like, hey, man, I ain't, I ain't into that no more. And they still want to do that. That's their choice. And you had your choice to go on about your business. And I don't see why anybody get mad about it. It is what it is. But for some of y'all, someone else is doing it. Somebody else cut off some, some friends and family that's low vibrational and toxic as fuck to, to choose their self for once. And, yeah, people gossiping about it. Told you, gossip, petty, jealous, envy. They is gossiping about the whole situation because they heartbroken. It's a lack mentality. Sad, broken, feeling alone, crushed. So they in that war with me. And you ain't, you out there living life with this celebratory energy. That's two different things. This person in the three of swords. Nothing ever works out. And you in that, yeah, man, I had a bad day today, but tomorrow gonna get better. You know, there's two different ways of thinking. You're going to get two different outcomes. And then why would you want to be around an old bitter-ass motherfucker every time you call their ass? Whether they know it or not. And you you may have felt like, man, let me help this person, man. I don't know why they had such a hard time. They ain't been able to find a job in seven years. It's the thinking of these folk. This could be a whole damn family. It says toxic, unhealthy. Inner circle, which is friends and family. Children, this is the Six of Cups card. 
damn. So whatever this opportunity is, you're drawn to it. Magnetic attraction, unexplainable pull. You're not going to be able to resist this. So it's going to be easy for you to uh, make your choice. I mean, fuck it, I'm going. I'm going, man. And so with this soulmate card, it says similar friendship, romantic partner. It's, this is something that's on your vibration. With that similar right there, this is someone on your level. Something or someone that is on your vibration. And the trash is taking itself out. Okay. Someone could be a writer. Maybe you're a writer. Someone's panicking. Anxiety, scared, panicked, intervention. About to reveal. Look at that. Retaliation, punish, payback, reveal. Now they say it. Somebody trying to get some. That's why I'm telling you. You out here trying to live life, do better, be better, think better. This person wants some punish, payback, revenge. Two different things, man. Two different things. Who the fuck got time for that? They remember when when their mama was pregnant with him and she fought it. This person don't never forget shit. Can't be around just like that. Spirit say success or fine. The three of cups, the gift, unexpected income, high honor. And I feel like it's the choices that you're making not to give up on yourself, to keep going. Hell, you could even have, but for somebody here, you had people person like, not personally, but purposely trying to hold you back. You know what you're going through, Sage. Okay. So let's see what the advice portion of this reading. What's the advice portion for my collective? What's the advice? Yeah, keep it to yourself. I'll never make it up. That offer that's coming through. If somebody not gonna do it right now, you better not say shit. Because, and I mean to nobody, even people that you think, because you somebody's working with this energy, the the moon with the three of pentacles, and they say in a circle of family. And like I said over here, this is someone who truly does not care about you. I don't care what you do for them, and I don't care how you feel about them. They do not care about you, and that's the fuck period. So there is an opportunity coming. The seven of swords, ace of pentacles. This is the advice. Keep it to yourself. Because look, what's hiding in the dark? The devil with the moon. That's who's secretly working against you. This devil energy. Toxic, low vibrational. Again, this is where you at. You're vibrating out of the ace of cups. And they're vibrating in the devil. So no, the devil likes to think of the devil. They like to keep you restricted. To someone who's trying to block you. This could be some type of temptation that comes back from the past. I told you I was watching. Didn't I say we we're going to see the Page of Swords? Oh, it's been about three months since I talked to Sage. Let me go over here and see if I can fuck with Sage's life. You don't need that. And it could be someone's ex or something like that with the Queen of Pentacles, right? Again, it could be a mother. I don't know, child. It can't even matter. If you was to wake up tomorrow... And you had a lump sum in the bank, bitch. You better act like ain't shit change till you get where you're going with the two of wands. Cause somebody on your ass. Somebody is on your ass. You need to keep shit to yourself. And maybe you're someone who likes to, because you don't think like these people, you think that people are gonna be happy for you because you would genuinely be happy for other people. Not in this situation. Okay, you got a towel out here twice. Yeah, it's going to be a towel for them. Somebody could be doing with a Capricorn. It's going to be a towel for them this time because you ain't finna do it. Three of Swords. That's that coming from that Three of Swords energy. Ten of Wands. That's that anchor laid it down. Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune and Five of Wands. Y'all, this is so heavy. This could even be a whole fucking community of people working against you. And they want you in this five of pentacles energy. But you're over here trying to expand. 
You just don't vibrate on the same level. And again, if this is not you, this is an opportunity coming for you. Still, whether you're extending the, the offer or someone's giving you the offer, keep it to your damn self. I miss me love cutting it. Oh, uh, uh. She only got the job because she's sucking the boss dick. You know, motherfuckers gonna say whatever, so just keep the shit to yourself. People gonna talk regardless, but you know. That was the advice. Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Keep it to yourself. You could even be seeing a lot of synchronicities. You could know something's coming for you. I heard, hold on. Change is coming. Don't you worry about anything. All right, so let's close out with an angel message. Sage. All right. Yep, shower of abundance coming through. Okay, so it could have to do with your third eye. Well, let's see. Vacuum away the fear. Call on Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. Because the moon, we saw the moon twice. Um... Some people don't know why they're doing this. And it really could stem from fear. Fear of you never seeing you again. Fear of um, you getting ahead of them. Or I don't know, child, what it is. But you ain't got time to figure it out. And yes, you can love people from a distance. Yes, you can. You won't have to right here. Or you can stay down there with the air. Well, spirit, giving and receiving. Ear shoppers. Solar plexus chakra. So there's about to be some type of giving and receiving right here. Okay? Somebody could be eating out the palm of someone's hand. Someone could be dealing with what kind of um Australia. Anyway, solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. That's that two of wands. You can't help this other person's circumstances. Especially if y'all started in the same place and that both that means y'all had the same opportunities to do certain things. Okay? But for some, this is like a relationship that's coming. Somebody, maybe this person ain't never been married, ain't never settled down. And they don't want you to do it. Or it's not fair you get that job opportunity. I ain't getting that light lights, baby. So then I say you could be getting synchronicity spirits. Says notice the messages that appear as sound, music, and, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So I feel like when you're daydreaming a lot, um, shit, if this is a relationship, you're probably communicating with this person on a telepathic level. Or spirit could be showing you doing things that doesn't align with what you currently got going on. That could be what's getting ready to come in. And so, yep, listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body's receiving accurate messages from the, the divine. Swift flame. Heart chakra. The answer that you seek is within your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Wedding again, and there's nothing to worry about. Child, I wouldn't let nobody on this board hold me back from my happiness. I wouldn't give a fuck who it is. That's why I say, take the title off the person. And this might be the first time that you do this. Hey man, I wish you the best. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you want me to do. Okay. Spirit said you are safe and the situation is under perfect control of the divine. All right. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Till next time. Bye.